Today's class lesson will involve a review of the previous night's uh, worksheet homework on choosing the right word, and we'll review some of we'll go over some of our new words to choosing the right word. Why don't we take a moment and begin with prayer? In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. It will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. So here's a review of the uh, worksheet on choosing the right word, number uh, 58. So if we use annual, it's um, something that occurs every year. Uh, badly, we need the adverb to describe injured. Uh, we could count all the students, so that's why we go with number. Uh, among is probably more than two houses, so that's why we use that one for five. For six, uh, it was previously or it occurred you know, earlier than the present, so it's already a half hour late. Uh, next two, we want to say beside. Whenever we need a noun in eight, we go with effect. Um, to receive is accept with an A. Uh, for uh, 10, between the foothills, even though it's probably more than one foothill, all right, and the mountain range. So those are two different things, so we go with between, all right. And then uh, number 10, uh, 11, it's, we're going with amount, all right, because amount of snow. All right, it's an un, snow is an uncountable noun. If you said inches, you said number of inches, that would be uh, correct as is. So if you have any questions on uh, the worksheet that you had to do for uh, last night, by all means, uh, feel free to email me. So today's lesson will uh, involve, um, if you go into Schoology, there's another set of notes. Um, we did uh, 1 to about 13. We did 14, 25, and this is going to involve uh, 26 to uh, 32. So if you want to download those into uh, Notability, all right, couple definitions that you want to uh, put down. So here we go. So difference between borrow and lend, all right? Borrow means you take something temporarily, okay? Lend means you give something temporarily. So that's why banks who lend money have to follow fair lending laws, is another example of it, okay? And a borrower, all right, they you always know, go into a bank to get money, you borrow money, you take out a loan, okay? You become that borrower, all right? Then you have insure and insure, all right? Insure, to protect against loss. So insure is the verb, insurance, especially car insurance, all of you would know, is the noun, starts with an I. Where insure, you're making certain. I'm insuring, I'm insuring every day that lessons and homework are assigned in Schoology. I'm making certain, checking it out, logging in, make sure it's all there, okay? So after these two, we get to imply and infer, and then idle and idle. Imply means to suggest something indirectly. And infer means to draw a conclusion or to interpret. So my parents implied I should study more for my quizzes and tests. And I inferred that if I didn't, my parents would take away some of my privileges, such as driving a car or using my cell phone. Right? So imply means to suggest. Infer means to draw a conclusion. And then you have idle and idle. And idle and idle sound the same, but they mean two different things. Idle, I-D-L-E, is someone who is, or something that's not active, or unemployed. So if you let your engine idle for your car, you're just sitting there and it's running, not going anywhere, okay? Whereas Gonzalo in The Tempest, he wanted all people idle when he talked about this whole idea of a utopia, People didn't have to work. They enjoy the bounties of nature. Okay, where idol, I-D-O-L, all right, an effigy, uh, an image used in worship, okay, but also a celebrity, a beloved celebrity, and that's why American Idol, the show, is I-D-O-L. All right, our next pair we have, we have flair and flair, F-L-A-I-R, Someone who has an outstanding talent, or it could be used meaning originality or stylish. Where flare, F-L-A-R-E, a sudden outburst, 
Okay, whether it be a, a bright light, like a flare you use on a boat for a rescue, uh, a flame, or an emotion. So if somebody has a flare for the dramatic, okay, it's F-L-A-R-E. But if you have a flare for knowing what styles will be good in clothing, that's F-L-A-I-R. And then you have lay and lie. Lay means to put something in a place where lie means to rest or recline. It also means to tell the truth. The trick is people confuse lie and lay. If you said I lied on the couch, you're on the couch not telling the truth. The trick is the past of lie is lay. So you might say I lay on the couch. What you're really saying is you're resting or reclining on the couch. You wouldn't say I laid on the couch. You say, I lay on the couch. That's where it gets a little tricky. All right, and then our last word for today is medal and medal, M-E-D-A-L, an award. And we know, especially one composed of a stamp, coin-like piece of metal, all right? So we certainly know with the Olympics being canceled, they won't be handing out any gold, silver, or bronze medals, M-E-D-A-L-S. That's the one you want to use. Whereas in metal, M-E-D-D-L-E, that means to interfere in others' plans, okay? So if you're, you know, butting into somebody, you're meddling in somebody's business, you're, you know, butting into it. It's M-E-D-D-L-E, okay? So the differences between uh, those words, all right? So these notes should be able to help you to um, answer those, that worksheet that you're going to have to do for homework tonight. And then tomorrow's lesson will involve a review of that worksheet. And we'll also talk about the movie review that you're going to have to write. Okay, hopefully you did those worksheets. Just to, those worksheets on the movie review were there to help you just keep track of everything that you were watching. So you could review those notes and write your movie review. And I'll talk a little bit that about that in tomorrow's lesson. Have a great day, everybody.